Nine days after the assassination attempt that shook the nation, there are few answers on how the shooter got so close to Trump. The head of the United States Secret Service, Kimberly Cheadle, answering lawmakers' questions about the shooting for the first time was blunt. We failed. Cheadle said a full report on the agency's failure to protect the former president would be released within 90 days. Lawmakers said that was unacceptable during an election season that has already proved to be contentious. Some called on her to resign. The Secret Service has a zero-fail mission, but it failed on July 13th and in the days leading up to the rally. The Secret Service has thousands of employees and a significant budget, but it has now become the face of incompetence. Cheadle told lawmakers Trump's Secret Service detail was aware of a suspicious person before the former president spoke at the rally. If the detail had been passed information that there was a threat, the detail would never have brought the former president out onto stage. One analyst told VOA the early warnings about the shooter raised serious questions. Most definitely there was a, there was a failure here to neutralize the threat when it was immediately observed. And quite frankly, it would have been a legitimate to, to shoot that young man once he was on the roof. It would have been a legitimate shooting, a legal shooting. So I, I, I don't know why there was hesitation. Congressional Democrats called for changes to gun laws in the United States, saying it was unfortunate that former President Trump is now one of many victims of gun violence. We almost lost a presidential candidate the other day. A 20-year-old had access to his father's AR-15 and got on top of a roof within 500 yards or feet of the podium. And I'm asking you, did the availability of that AR-15, which is replicated all across America, make your job harder or easier, and you're not willing to answer that question? The Federal Bureau of Investigation has still not determined a motive for the actions of Thomas Matthew Crooks, the suspected shooter. Katherine Gibson, VOA News.